Hey guys, now in this video, let's see our first demo of Azure Durable Functions. So in this video, we will discuss fan out, fan in pattern. So again, fan out, it means start multiple steps in parallel and then fan in. It means wait for all these steps to get completed and then do something with the result. So what I mean is, see again guys, this is our orchestrator or controller function and it is calling these four activity function see this first second third and fourth and this orchestrator function it can call these four activity functions in parallel and then each of this activity function it will return result so this returns some result this returns some result this and this also returns some result so we have four results and then we do something with those results so what is our requirement? Let's say a customer orders AC online and of course he wants that AC to be delivered as quick as possible. So what should be the solution? So let's say we have four warehouses in cities Mumbai, Pune, Delhi and Chennai. Now our orchestrator function it will call four activity functions that is one activity function for this city Mumbai, another activity function for this city Pune, another for Delhi and another for Chennai, right? And of course, it will call these activity functions in parallel. Now, each of this activity function, it will return whether stock is available in that particular city and if available, how much is the estimated delivery time? And so, we aggregate those results and we find the city with least delivery time. So again here we are calling four activity functions in parallel right and each of this activity function that is each of this city we will get a response that whether in that particular city if stock is available and if stock is available how much is the expected delivery time and from these results that is from these four responses we find out the city for which expected delivery time is least. And of course, from that warehouse or from that city, we will ship our product. And of course, guys, we can use this solution that is fan out fan in pattern in our durable functions because our durable function, it maintains the state that is it maintains or it keeps the track of result returned by each activity function. And now let's implement the solution. So guys, we are in Visual Studio and we are creating a new project. So let's select Azure Functions. I will say next. Now let's give name to this project. So I will say fan out, fan in simple demo. Here I will say next. And guys, now this is important. See this drop down. From this drop down, we have to select this option that is Durable Functions Orchestration. And now I will say create. And now guys, our project is ready. Now the first thing for this class function one, let's provide some meaningful name. So right click, I will say rename and I will say fan out fan in demo. Now from this class, let's remove this static word. From this method as well, let's remove this static word. Now guys, in a bit, I will explain these methods. That is what is this? run orchestrator what is this say hello right but as of now again let's just remove this static word and here as well now we see this highlighted code that is it says http start so that will be our starting point for our project execution so basically this is nothing but an api I see this it is http trigger right so when we hit this api okay if you observe this line it says instance id is equal to await client dot schedule new orchestration so basically from here our orchestration process will start okay and here you see we are calling this fan out fan in demo function so this fan out fan in demo so this is nothing but our orchestrator function now I will simply make it more readable. So let's just go up. See, this is our orchestration function. Okay. So 
I'll just make it more readable. So I'll just copy this and I will say this is our function, right? And basically, this is our orchestrator function. And we are calling this function that is, we are starting this orchestration process. Again, let me copy it. from this API that is from this HTTP trigger, right? So here I will simply say client dot schedule new orchestration and we are setting up this orchestration right now let's just go up now let's assume we are in this orchestrator function right and here if you observe this code see this highlighted code basically here we are calling three activity functions and this activity function is nothing but say hello right but obviously in our case we will be calling the activity function which returns how much time is required for the product to get delivered from that warehouse that is from that CT warehouse right so here I'll simply get rid of this code and as of now I will just delete these two lines okay and see here we are calling this say hello that is this is our activity function see guys this is an activity function right but now in our case let's provide more meaningful name right so here i will simply right click on this method that is again this is activity function i'll say rename and i will say get where house response and i will copy this and i will paste it over here now it's obviously it will be returning warehouse response so we have to create the corresponding model right so here on this project i will right click i will say add i will say folder and this will be models or you can call it entities as well so i will say model and right click i will say add i will say new item it will be class and the name it will be warehouse response dot cs and i will say add we'll make it public and here i will simply paste that code so so again it is simple straightforward code and it has four properties that is city then if stock is available and if available stock then how much is the quantity that is available stock and then estimated delivery time in days so quite simple straightforward code now let's go to our other file okay basically here now to this activity function we will be providing input as ct and then we will have that business logic which will return the warehouse response for that particular city that is for that particular city warehouse whether stock is available and if available how much is the expected delivery time right so so here i will say first okay so first the input it will be string city and here i will say for the product city get warehouse response so of course here we will have our business logic but guys now in the interest of the time i am not going to write that full code but i will add this simple code so we have just created an instance of this warehouse response and we have added some hard coded logic so for example when city is mumbai we are saying yes stock is available and estimated delivery days is 2 for pune stock is available and estimated delivery day is 1 for delhi stock is not available and then for chennai yes stock is available and estimated delivery days is 7 so of course we have hard coded but in real time you will add your business logic and of course now you have to change the return type as well so instead of string it will be warehouse response and guys one more thing i will just make this method as async so I will say async task of warehouse response. Now let's just save our code and now let's go up in our orchestrator function. So again this is our orchestrator function and from within we will be calling our activity function and we will be calling activity function 4 times that is for 4 cities right. Now let me just copy this activity function name and here i will make it more readable so let's say for first we are calling it for city mumbai right 
and here I will say where step 1 is equal to now I will simply copy this code and I will repeat it for other 3 cities and of course guys we want to call these 4 activity functions in parallel right so obviously we need to get rid of this await one so let us just remove it and now I will say where all steps is equal to I will say new list of task of warehouse response and now here I will say all steps dot add and here we need to add all these four steps mm, it's not working yeah see this it's returning task of string right so here we have to change it to warehouse response and now here I will add all those four steps and now obviously we have to wait for all these four steps to get completed right so that all these four steps they will return some result and only after that we can analyze that result right so I will say where result is equal to await task dot when all and to this let's provide this all steps as input and now if I take my mouse to this variable results see this is an array of warehouse response right so we can find the warehouse with least expected delivery time right so here now I will say where QCAS warehouse is equal to I will say results dot where x x goes to so first we have to check whether stock is available right so we will say x dot is stock available and and now from this result we have to order by and I will say x x goes to x dot estimated delivery time right and now from this we have to take out the first result right so it's a first or default right and finally to cross check let's just say logger dot log information and i will say qcase qcase delivery is possible from warehouse from this And, and estimated delivery time is dot estimated delivery time in days so that's it guys let's save and now let's run our project and, and guys this is the API or this is the URL which will start our orchestration process so let's just copy and before we run it let's just add a debugger so let's just add a debugger in this http trigger see again when we hit that api this http trigger it will be called and you see it now starts that orchestration process see this highlighted code now let's run our app and i will say enter and and yes the debugger has been hit and see now it will start our orchestrator function right so here I will say continue and let's cross check and guys see the output it says quickest delivery is possible from warehouse Pune and estimated delivery time is 1 and now let's cross check and see for Pune stock is available and estimated delivery time is just one day and for other cities it is more than one day so that means our app is working correctly so that's it guys thanks thanks for listening